Hello, Grace. Uh, welcome to worship and welcome back to Vacation Bible School as we celebrate Christmas in July. We hope you enjoy this worship and thank you so much to all of our volunteers who helped put it together. Hi, we're going to be singing Romans 16, 19. It's Pastor Shane, and I am here to talk about our week for Bible school. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the time and that it's been fun to get a package at your house and to be able to open up the present and see everything that's going to happen this week. Um, and this week, I'm here to talk about when Jesus was born. And one of the ways that we do that is we learn about that through the Bible. And I have a Spark Story Bible. Some of you probably have one of these. At your home, if you don't and you can't find your Bible, that's okay. You can always call the church and we have Bibles to give away for free. So you can always call us and make sure that you have one uh, so that you have a Bible to read from. But I'm going to read the story to you. It's pretty short, so hang on. Jesus is born. We have to go to Bethlehem, Joseph told Mary. Emperor Augustus has ordered that all the people need to be counted. But Joseph, Mary said, what about our baby? He's going to be born soon. We'll go slow, Mary. Bethlehem will be crowded, so we got to leave right now. So Mary and Joseph journeyed to Bethlehem, the city of David, to be counted along with all of the other people. It was cold when they arrived. And Joseph knocked and knocked and knocked on many doors, looking for a room to stay. But everybody said no. Finally, an innkeeper answered his door. I have no room, said the innkeeper, but you can stay in that little stable out back. It's warm, the hay is fresh. Joseph, Mary said, I think it's time for the baby to be born. And that night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She laid him in a manger and the animals kept them warm as they waited for morning. So this story, is a great story. I mean, think about it. It's got a pregnant lady who doesn't know when she's going to give birth. They can't find a place to stay. And now all of a sudden they have to give birth in a, a barn. Can you imagine having to deliver a baby in a barn? Even if there is fresh hay, it's still disgusting. Some cow going business next to you. Mooing, chickens clucking, everybody scratching around. It had to have been a scary time for them. In my family, we actually have somebody who was born on Christmas. Maybe you know other people who were born on Christmas. And for me, it's my grandpa. My grandpa Dean was born on Christmas Day. And he wasn't born in a hospital or a doctor's office. Nope. He was born in a house. He was born in his house, in his mom and dad's bed. The doctor came into the house, delivered my grandpa, and then... He left and they all stayed there, my whole family back then. And my grandpa 
They didn't wrap him in fresh hospital blankets. They took their blankets they had on their bed or around the house and they wrapped him up warm and tight and they kept him there safe and sound, enjoying that new baby. And new babies are so great, aren't they? New babies smell good and new babies are so cute and new babies have so much life in them. And that's what we hear when we hear this story is that Jesus isn't just another baby to be born who's cute and adorable and squishy and all the things babies are, but Jesus is God being born into the world. And being God born into the world is a whole new story. And then for God to be born in a barn, not in some fancy place, not in some super clean place, but in kind of the gross parts of the world, that tells us too that God goes with us into our gross parts of our world. The parts of our world that we're confused about or the parts of our world that we don't um, like very much or understand completely or just ignore. But that's where God finds us, right there. Wherever we are, wherever you are, God will find you and you can celebrate that by knowing that you don't have to go through life alone. And, and if you look in your nativity scene, who's in the middle of that nativity scene? And mine right here, and probably looks like the one you got, see Jesus is right there in the middle of it all. He doesn't live on the edges. He doesn't live in the parts of your life that you don't know about. Jesus lives right there with you all the time, going with you wherever you go. I hope that you're having a good week. Everyone here at Grace loves you, and we can't wait to see you again. Let's sing Mary Had a Baby. So what you guys get to do is you guys are going to repeat after me and I'm going to start out really quiet. So you're going to stay, start out really quiet and then I'm going to get louder and you're going to get louder and then I'm going to be yelling and you're going to be yelling. So if you guys can please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for the fun. Thank you for the sunshine outside and thank you for Christmas. But most of all, thank you for your son who loves me a lot. In your name we pray, amen. Hello, we are gonna be singing Give Me Oil after the actual like verse. We are gonna have some silly made up verses just real kind of.
everybody. I hope that you had a good worship this week and that you have a wonderful week and to know that you are blessed by God, that you are loved by God, and that above all things, God loves you and that you are loved so much that you can go out and love other people without fear. Amen.